Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite things in the world, vacation. Regardless of what your budget situation is, at some point everybody needs a vacation. My favorite way to do that is with the family. But as the family gets bigger and the budget gets smaller, it makes it harder and harder to do that. One of the issues with doing a family vacation is that you can spend the bulk of your budget on just a place to stay. You end up with a hotel room in some really sketchy part of town, and all you've got really is a place to go and sleep and cram a few people into it, and nobody really enjoys the time that they're spending there. So one of the ways that we deal with that is that we'll book a cabin at a state park. And we live in Tennessee, and full disclosure, my wife is an employee of the state, so she gets a pretty good discount anytime we stay at a state park. That really comes in handy when we're trying to book a cabin. Recently, we booked a cabin at the Cedars of Lebanon State Park in Central Tennessee. It's just a little bit east of Nashville. It's a great location, very scenic, far enough out of the way that it counts as a rural area, even though you're relatively close to Nashville. The cabin's there booked for $120 to $160 a night. And when you're booking these cabins, you're booking an entire house. So for the cost of what we would have paid for a mediocre hotel room, we were able to get an entire house. Now, when we arrived at the cabin, it was after dark. So we didn't really get a great look at the outside, but looking through the windows, you can kind of see this is a really rustic and very cozy place. Right inside the front door, there's the living room. There are a couple of big couches, big comfy couches. There's a couple of rocking chairs. There's a gas log stove if you're there during the winter time, which we were. One of my favorite things about the cabin is the kitchen. There's this giant wooden dining room table where we were all able to gather and talk and shoot some of these videos that we did. And it was just a great place to hang out. There's a full kitchen with a refrigerator and a stove and a sink and all the things that you need as far as trying to cook and prepare there at the cabin. Now the ground floor consists of the living room, the dining room, the kitchen, a single bathroom and a single bedroom. However, there are other bedrooms in the house. We'll talk about that in just a minute. The lower bedroom has a full-size bed, and it's very spacious. There's a lot of room there, and it's right next to the bathroom. Now, as you go upstairs, you get to the other bedroom. This one, I think, was meant to be the master bedroom. It's the bigger of the bedrooms. It's got the larger bed in it, although the bed that's in that room is not the most comfortable thing in the world. If we come back to this location, we're probably going to bring some kind of a, a, a mattress topper or something and probably bring some pillows from home. This thing really was not the most comfortable in the world, but it was a big bed. It wasn't horrible, but it could have been a whole lot more comfortable. Also upstairs, there is a small loft area with a twin bed. So if you've got a kid or somebody that's there by themselves, they can stay right there and sleep. The loft overlooks the kitchen and it overlooks the living room. Now, here's the thing. This cabin is big enough for six to eight people. Now, that being said, somebody's gonna have to sleep on each of the couches if you have that many people with you, and the biggest downfall to that is that there is only one bathroom in the entire cabin. So everybody's gonna have to be on the program with that. And also, one of the issues is that there is a very small hot water heater in the cabin. So if you've got a bunch of people that are all planning on getting up in the morning and getting a shower and getting ready to go to somewhere, that's going to take forever because you're going to have to wait for that hot water to heat up every time. Now during the daytime outside the cabin, we can see a little bit more of the grounds. There's this beautiful front porch with rocking chairs and a bench, and it's a great place to sit in warmer weather. And also, right off to the side, there is a picnic area with a nice picnic table and a barbecue grill. Now, we booked the pet-friendly cabin. There are only two pet-friendly cabins in Cedars of Lebanon State Park. So if you're planning on bringing your animals with you, then you need to book that in advance. And there is a set of rules that you have to abide by in the event that you do bring a pet with you. So be sure that you, you follow those rules and make sure you have your proper documentation with you before you come. Looking back on our vacation now that it's over, we had a great time there. The cabin was amazing. It was very spacious. It gave us all room to spread out, but it also gave us places that we could gather together as a family and have a good time. And I can guarantee you that at some point in the future, we're going to be coming back to the Sears of Lebanon State Park. Well, that's it for this edition. So until next time, prepare for the world that you live in, not the one you wish existed. We'll see you next time.